disclaimer, I am not a lawyer. I am giving you advice that has been given to me by lawyers, but I am not a lawyer. Although Mary's a lawyer, but anyway. Um, so under police policy, under their police operations manual, it states in their manual they have to give 24-hour written notice, which means they have to either give it to you or have to put it on the tent. Once they do that, they then can come back 24 hours later to cite. But even if they're citing 24 hours later, they're still going to give you an opportunity to remove your stuff. They're not allowed to take your stuff. There's a Ninth Circuit court ruling last fall. They're not allowed to destroy your possessions. If you're present, they have to let you take them. And if you're not there, they're, they will gather them and they will hold them at police headquarters for 30 days. They have to do that. That's the law, and they're paranoid about it. And so during that 30 days, you can pick your gear up. You can go at any time to get it. So worst case scenario, what's going to happen is they're going to come some point today. They're looking for the forms. They can't find their forms. That's one reason they're held up. Um, they called Michael Kerrigan and asked him, do you guys have copies? And Michael called, yeah, oh yeah. And my answer is yes, it's on my dashboard and you're not going to have it. Um, so they're trying to find, I know. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry. That's sorry, that one right here, but no. Yeah, I like you personally, but no, no, I'm not going to help. Uh, well, um, grab your own dog. So that amusing piece yeah. aside. You know, assuming they come this afternoon with the forms, it means they're not going to cite until tomorrow night. Um, now, the other piece here, of course, is that it's also a protest site. And right now, they don't seem to be understanding or recognizing that. Um, illegal camping is only a violation. You don't go to jail. Um, anyone and everyone who wants to challenge it, if you do want to do that, you will have a ton of support behind you. And the fact that it is also a protest site and you have nowhere else to go may weigh in your... I can't guarantee you're going to win, but even if you lose, it's just a violation. It's not a crime. You know, worst case scenario, you will have to perform community service. But I personally, if I was homeless and I was camping here, I'd say this is a good opportunity to just let them ticket you and go and make a big stink about it. And pretty much everyone who's standing here will be there in court. No doubt. No doubt. To and protest. To, yeah. We'll so, but don't, like, don't be, I mean, they will come over and say things to try to get you to leave. That's, they're allowed to lie. Police lie. Like, they, they get schooled on how to lie. Say that again. They are allowed They lie. lie. They're totally allowed to lie. They're not, but they're, they're not. They are. That's why I was trying they're to say they're back, bluffing. Yeah. Rick. Better get out of the street. So we and so, like, you know, if they come around and ask you, for example, you know, if they're asking you, you know, can I have your name? You don't, you can say, am I being accused of a crime or a violation? Am I being cited? Am I being detained? If they don't answer affirmative to those, you don't have to give your name. Now, frankly, it's not necessarily going to, I mean, especially if you've been, you know, if you've had contact with them before, you know, they're not going to necessarily be able to really hurt you if you do give them your, but I'm saying you don't have to do that. Like, don't feel intimidated by them. Don't feel you have to give up your rights. It's really important not to if you don't want to. Okay, but don't, you know, if they're gonna come in and just give you verbal warnings, that doesn't mean anything. Their policy says they have to give written warning. In April, eight people were arrested here without warning and carted off to jail, and the officers that did that, it was a sustained allegation, and they were given disciplinary action. Now, thanks to our, our lovely state laws, we never get to know who those officers were, and we never get to know what that discipline was. But EPD is well aware that someone has very recently screwed up here big time, and that the same people who were told on them are here right now. <laughs> so, like, this is all very, they know this, which gives us a slight advantage in certain ways. So I'm going to encourage, you know, people who, who broke down this morning, if you want to put it back up, at least until they give a written warning, just to show solidarity. And frankly, again, they're not going to just take your stuff. They will be in such deep doo-doo if they take your stuff. Like, big time. big time. Like, they know better. There's too many people watching. You know, I'm not saying they may not do it to certain people once in a while clandestinely when no one sees, but this is way too big of a deal. They're not going to fuck with you. And I think the best thing to do is show them that you're not scared and show them that you're willing to take tickets. Because the more people who stand up for it, eventually they have to give. I mean, you all have nowhere else to go. Something has to